guys, welcome to my channel. This video is about non-functional testing. Content of this video is the following. Non-functional testing, types of non-functional testing and simple questions. On this slide you can see uh, different test types. In previous video we already talked about functional testing and in this video we are going to talk about non-functional testing. Non-functional testing is a testing of non-functional software characteristics. Objective is, uh, of this testing is a non-functional quality characteristic. When we talked about functional testing, we defined it as a testing of what the system does. Non-functional testing, here you can see, it is testing of how the system works. Functional testing is testing the attributes of a component or system that do not relate to functionality. For example, reliability, efficiency, usability, maintainability, portability, etc. As I already told you, it is testing how the system works. Non-functional testing can be performed at any test level. Component, integration, system, acceptance. Non-functional testing considers external behavior of the software, so this is black box testing. Here are some types of non-functional testing. Performance testing, load testing, stress testing, usability, maintainability, reliability and portability. These types are the most common types of non-functional testing. Now we are going to talk about them in a more detailed way. So, performance testing is testing to determine the performance of a software product. It evaluates the overall performance of software product, its speed or effectiveness. So, we, de we define how uh, fast it is or how effective it is. Types of performance testing, load testing and stress testing. Example of performance testing. Measuring the response time of a website or measuring the response time of a specific element, for example, a button. What is a response time? Response time is time starting when user makes a request till he receives a response for this request. So when user clicks uh, on the button and then like, something happens. Uh, I mean, the user gets the response. Load testing is a type of performance testing conducted to evaluate the behavior of a component or system with increasing load to determine what load can be handled by the component or system. It is performed under expected normal load conditions and expected peak load conditions. Load conditions, numbers of par parallel users, numbers of transactions, etc. As it is part of performance testing, it measure, measures the response time of the system. Examples of load testing. Uploading, downloading big volume files, ordering items in online store by a big amount of users simultaneously, assigning for printer to print documents from many users. I think these are great examples to understand what is load testing. I think the emphasis on the load testing should be that it is conducted under expected normal load conditions and expected peak load condition, conditions. Because stress testing is um, different than load testing. Stress testing is a type of performance testing conducted to evaluate a system or component at or beyond the limits of its anticipated or specified workloads, or with reduced availability of resources such as access to memory or servers. So when load testing it is under normal working conditions, stress testing at or beyond the limits. Software product is observed working under extreme operational conditions or when software or hardware can has been compromised. For example, there is no disk space or there is no memory. 
The next type of non-functional testing is usability testing. Usability testing is testing to determine the extent to which the software product is understood, easy to learn, easy to operate and attractive to users. So when you are doing a usability testing, you, sh you should think about uh, how easy it is to use for you this application, how it is attractive. The next uh, type is maintainability testing. Maintainability testing is testing to determine the maintainability of a software product. The synonym is serviceability testing. Maintainability is the ease with which a software product can be modified to correct defects, modified to meet new requirements, modified to make future maintenance easier or adopted to a change environment. So mainly maintainability testing is uh, connected with the quality of the code because uh, developers can different developers can write different code. Some developers can write high quality code. High quality code means that it is easy to man maintain and other developers can write the code. It will be working according to requirements but it can be uh, very complicated to maintain. This is the difference. Next type of testing is reliability testing. Reliability testing is testing to determine the reliability of a software product. What is reliability? Reliability is the ability of the software product to perform its required functions under stated conditions for a specified period of time or for a specified number of operations. So in, uh, during this testing we are measuring how reliable the application is. Portability testing is testing to determine the portability of a software product. The synonym is configuration testing. Portability is the ease with which the software product can be transferred from one hardware or software environment to another. Practice. Which of these are non-functional tests? Checking whether it is convenient for users to use the application. Measuring the response time of a send email button. Checking whether the photo was posted. Checking whether the name of the button is located right in the middle of the button. So this one, the first one, it is usability testing, right? Because we are testing how too easy it is to use the application. The second one, measuring the response time, it is performance testing. The next one, one, uh, uh, checking the photo was posted. It is actually a functional testing, right? Because we are checking function, fun, functionality of the uh, of this feature, and then checking whether the name of the button is located right. This is uh, GUI testing. Also, it is non-functional testing. So the answer, the right answer, is A. Because th uh, this one, this one, and the first one are true, and the third one is um, functional testing. It is false. It is functional testing. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.